it's Candice. I am gonna show you really quickly one of my favorite new recipes for Shakeology. Um, if you have followed me, you've seen some of my other recipes for the chocolate, vanilla, strawberry flavors. I recently um, got over my, my own reservations and tried green berry finally. I don't know about you, but I look at something like this, I'm like, ooh. I don't know, so I was really nervous and I didn't try it for a long time, but holy flip you guys, it's my new favorite. So, I just want to give you my recipe and tips for Greenberry Shakeology. It tastes like a Starburst, really yummy. So, what I do is I start with banana. Um, if you ever get bad bananas that are kind of mushy and gross, peel them, put them on a cookie sheet, stick them in the freezer, and then after they're frozen, stick them in a Ziploc bag and use them for your smoothies. They're perfect for smoothies. They freeze really well. Um, kind of a little tip there. Raspberries, you guys. Raspberries are like a secret ingredient in shakes because you don't need very many of them to have some killer flavor and color. So I would say, I don't know, maybe half a cup of raspberries. And... Pineapple, raspberry and pineapple is seriously like the most awesome flavor combination I've ever tried. It's so good. Now, sometimes I would throw some spinach in here just for the extra boost of greens. Also, um, occasionally I will put in the Shakeology Boost uh, Power Greens. It's up to you. If you want it, get it done. If you don't, then just go with your fruits and it'll be... It's awesome because Shakeology's got everything you need anyway. So I am just gonna add some water. You can use milk. Orange juice is delicious. I don't like milk in my shakes anymore. Um, it's just something I've weaned myself off of because I didn't want the extra calories. But you can try milk, you can try orange juice. Orange juice is like decadent, really yummy, but it has a lot of sugar. So I try not to do that very often. And I like to add my liquid before I add my Shakeology powder because if you don't, it'll kind of settle down to the bottom of your cup and then you add the water and it kind of clumps and it's harder to blend it. You know how powder and liquid don't mix very well at first. So if you put it in after the liquid, then it just kind of floats on the top here and it'll blend right in. So I do have my nice Ninja blender and I love it, but it only has two individual blender cups and I hate washing the big blender all the time. So whenever those two blender cups are dirty because my family drinks the shakes all day long, I will just do it in my big old shaker cup with this. You guys have an immersion blender? It's really, really simple and I was a skeptic. I didn't think it'd be able to blend this enough, but... It's amazing, and you can get one of these for 20 bucks at Walmart. So, I'm gonna blend it, bear with me. put any raspberries in just a very small amount and it takes away that green color so if you're kind of squeamish about it being green throw some raspberries in it voila 
that is my pineapple raspberry greenberry shakeology it is delicious seriously give it a try you guys see you later